Yeah, I completely forgot that I had my laptop on a three hour... Like a three hour, uh... Idle session, and if it passes three hours, it goes into rest mode. She really just like... She really just extended to like five or six hours whenever I go record. Because I don't really use my laptop as much other than like recording. Oh, we're already at the enemy. It's a, it's a, it's a BD lo- oh, ow. <laughs> it's a BD long legs. Wait, do I hit its legs? Well, that wasn't very nice. Ugh. Oh. I guess I had to keep hitting its legs. Oh, and it's spinning fire. Whoa, God. Don't whack me with it. Ah, here we go. Ooh. There we go. Whew. Oh, we did it. Uh, Star Fox was a critical success, and a commercial success upon release, it topped the Japanese Famitsu sales charts. From February to March in 93, selling only 325,000 units in Japan in December. Nintendo sold more than 1.7 million units in Japan and the United States by the end of March 93. Uh, becoming the fastest selling game launch in North America up until then. It also topped the UK sales chart in June 93 and went on to sell over 4 million copies. Now, was there anything that said about, like, the frame rate? Because it's got, like, pretty good scores here. With many reviewers comparing it favorably to Space Harrier and Afterburner. The game's groundbreaking use of 3D polygon graphics were universally lauded. I guess they were mostly just praising, like... How, like, how evolved the 3D graphics were back in the Super Nintendo days. I guess that really was it. Andros is hiding on Venom. Fox, you must find his core brain and destroy it. Good luck. Good luck. I guess that's really all that was. It really was just a revolutionary video game at the time. Whoa. Yep, blip it, blip it, blip it. Whoa, ow. It's just the same thing as uh, level two. Just take care of, uh, take care of rockets in space. Yeah, no, I guess it really all that was, to be honest. Like, when you look back at Super Nintendo games like Mario RPG and uh, Yoshi's Island, like, those games were only just 2D graphics at the time. 16-bit as well. Even, like, the Mega Man games. I'm just fucking shooting Peppy. <laughs> oh, did I miss that checkpoint? Fuck. Ooh, ooh, okay. At least I'm saving Peppy's ass. 
Did he just try and whistle, or is it that thing in the sky? Hey. Oh. Looks like we already have a boss here. Is that just... Whoa. Is that just the fucking dragon guy from, uh... 3D Battles of World Runner? Whoa. Never mind, it's doing some freaky ass, uh... Low fr- it's, do it's doing, like, lesser frames than the game itself. But, I already killed it. <laughs> That's, uh, that seems fair. It has become an established Nintendo franchise with six more installments and numerous appearances by its characters in other media such as Super Smash Brothers and Starling Battle for Atlas. Although Star Fox 2 was cancelled, some of the ideas and gameplay were salvaged for 1997's Star Fox 64. Huh. I didn't know they kept some of those ideas. Whoa. Alright, so... Here's Venom. We're back at Venom. We making out of Venom and... Uh, we making out of Venom with this one. And this should be the last level of this Let's Play, too. Hey, dude. I set out what I wanted to do in this Let's Play 2, and that was to take care of the hardest difficulty first. Whoa. Yeah, that's what I... Oh, God. That's what I set it out to do. Jeez, did that just, like, hit me, too? Hopefully it doesn't take me on a little, like, puzzle. I, like, I'm trying to remember, did Star Fox 64 do that? Where, like, I had to go through a certain puzzle to get to Aaron, uh, to get to Andros? And if I do it incorrectly, it, it just, like... Oh, jeez. Yeah, and if I do it incorrectly, it, like takes me to a wall or something, and it just destroys you. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. I think I had to... There we go. Whew! I think I could just spam this and I would destroy it fast enough. There we go. Easy. Oh, this guy's back. Wait, I almost killed it. Oh, wait. Ugh. No, it probably has a second phase. Yep, it has a second phase. Probably gonna take a few small hits. <laughs> he just goes, Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, he's kind of like a little frog. Oh. Okay, we're cool. We're cool. Okay, that that guy... That guy just... Drew. Okay, this... How the hell is this... How the hell is this on easy? Ugh. Just had to spam the barrel roll move. Oh. 
No, I missed the health ring? Uh oh. Oh. You little fucker. You little fucker, holy crap. You you snuck one in there. Oh. I think I had my game face going on there. All right. Now it's Andros time. And I don't know if I can uh, have any health on this one. Okay, here we go. Your all wings have no chance against me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Andros. Da -da 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 Ow. Oh, <laughs> oh, brother. We're fine, we're fine. Wait, I don't think we're fine. I don't think we're fine. What am I doing? What am I doing? Ugh. I'm being kind of reckless here. Okay. Oh. Ah, we destroyed his face. Now we destroy the core. Ah, that's better. Ah, uh, there. That's 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 better. That's better. Ooh, we did it. Gone through all three levels of Star Fox for the Super Nintendo. Oh man. Yeah, they said a direct sequel titled Star Fox 2 Develops was never released, although programmer Dylan Cuthbert says that the game was actually completely finished. Ah. Kind of like some certain projects that need to come out, though. Looking at Warner Brothers. Uh, although Star Fox 2 was cancelled, some of the ideas and gameplay were salvaged for Star Fox 64, released in Europe under the title Lilat Wars for the 64. Eventually, a handful of beta ROMs for Star Fox 2 at various stages of its development were leaked onto the internet and made a fan-made translation of Star Fox 2 from Japanese to English was released in the form of a patch that could be applied to one of the leaked ROMs. And then they saw that and was like, nah, we'll take it out. We'll we'll bring a finalized version of the game obtained from a couple uh, complete ROM located on the archives. It was released for the SNES Classic Edition. Uh, yep. In 2002, Rare Star Fox Adventures were, uh, was released for GameCube. It was the first Star Fox game with adventure, or ad adventure action elements. Uh, yep, Dinosaur Planets. In 2005, Star Fox Assault was released for the GameCube. This time developed by Namco, and specifically the same core team that handled the Ace Combat series. It, it incorporates third-person shooter elements into the game with grounded combat. Star Fox Command, developed by Q Games, released for the DS in 2006. Uh, the first game in the series on a portable system and the first to feature online multiplayer. Oh, wow. It uses many features from the unreleased Star Fox 2, chiefly the real-time map and mission layout. And then there was Star Fox Zero, co-developed by Nintendo and Platinum released in 2016 and returns the storyline to the original game and 64 while incorporating new elements such as the scrapped walker transformation and a new gyro wing vehicle. So that's pretty much all of Star Fox's timeline. Although we really need a new Star Fox game on the Switch. I mean it's 
what is it, like, almost eight years since the Nintendo Switch came out? That's gotta be... That's gotta be one of the longest lifespans on a Nintendo console. I wonder how long the Wii's was. Or the Nintendo DS. Like, those were also revolutionary at the time. Uh, during the game's release, Nintendo teamed up with Kellogg's <laughs> and Nail Sonic to develop a release promotional... Or to release a promotional Star Fox LCD game. Uh, Watch to those who bought a box of cornflakes and sent the order from, or sent the order form to Kellogg's to receive a Star Fox game for free. Oh no, this is the Game and Watch. Okay. In the Game and Watch, there are four levels, and the object is to fly towards an attack carrier and destroy it. The Game Watch also includes a pair of earphones and a headphone jack due to the Game Watch missing a volume control. Uh, I didn't even know they promoted that. That's kind of funny. That really was just the legacy of the Star Fox series. Had like the unreleased game of Star Fox 2 and then had like the almost the non space shooter type games from the GameCube to the Wii U. I'm surprised they never even made a game for the Wii. Like, they would have easily just, like, done, like, the tilt controls on the Wii remote to do it. That's what they did with the... That's what they did with the Wii U gamepad. And I bet you if they did one for the Switch... Joy-Cons. Joy-Con gyro controls. They could do that, too. But, uh, I think it's... Hopefully not gonna fall under the same fate as F-Zero and Earthbound. And we'll hopefully get to see another Star Fox game in the future. Maybe for like, uh, maybe for the next generation console. We could see one. And we could also probably see uh, maybe another F-Zero game. Like we just got back the F-Zero 99 since people wouldn't get off of Nintendo's ass trying to get another F-Zero game <laughs> for years. We could do the same thing for Star Fox. Hell, like, people are doing the same thing for Metroid. People were begging for another Metroid game. We got teased with Metroid Prime 4, but instead we got Samus Returns, Metroid Dread, and uh, I could have swore there was another one. Like, a couple of Metroid games that came to the Switch Online, like Metroid Fusion and The Return of Samus. Oh yeah, uh, Metroid Prime Remastered for the Switch. That's it. I, I just know they're probably going to remaster the other two games, and then that's when they can do Metroid Prime 4. It was just a, it was just at the worst possible timing too because like they shouldn't have just showed it in the first place because it's been like what 6 years since they shown that teaser Yeah shouldn't have done that early buddy Anyways that is got to be it for Star Fox for the Super Nintendo Done all 3 levels and guess the only one that I missed was uh yeah, I guess the only one that I did miss was the black hole level, but uh, done pretty much all I could. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you'd like to see more of my Star Fox Let's Plays, uh, subscribe and like the video. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next game.